you've highly requested it. So here are new grants by state. So if you'd like to know where the grants are in your state, make sure you drop your city and your state in the comment section below so we can make sure that we cover you. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Rindy from Ask Rindy. Welcome. Please subscribe to the number one community for real estate, income, grants, and credit. So welcome to all the new people here on the channel. We look forward to helping your business grow. Number one, Washington, the city of Burien, $5,000 in grants. So the city of Burien has launched a new recovery grant program for small businesses. And these are ARPA funds that's been allocated to help small businesses with these $5,000 grants. So it's the same issue that they're facing as other businesses that are facing all around the country. And that is revenue loss, supply chain issues where they don't actually have the stock or the product in order to actually give their customers and also employee shortage. This is actually the same problems that most businesses are facing all around the country. And that's one of the reasons why they're struggling. So these monies actually, and these grants are really helpful in giving them the boost that they need. In some cases, some businesses is actually their turning point. They were actually going to close, but the grant actually came through and helped them to not only stay open, but help them to actually move the business to the next level. So to qualify to apply for this $5,000 in grant, if you're actually going to be applying for this grant, you need to meet the following criteria. Number one, your business must be located in Burien. Number two, you must be able to demonstrate and show a 25% revenue loss. Number three, you actually need to actually have been in business for two years. Number four, you must be licensed with the state of Washington. Number five, you must have less than 10 employees. And number six, you must be a brick and mortar. So to go through the process of applying for this $5,000 in grants, there are certain things that you will need to provide. Number one, you need to actually provide the grant agreement. You're actually going to actually have a grant agreement that you will need to provide. Number two, you're actually going to need to fill out and complete a W-9 form. Number three, you're going to actually have to provide tax returns. In some cases from 2019 all the way to 2022. And finally, number four, they want your direct deposit information because they're going to be sending the grants directly to you via direct deposit. So the grant application process opens up on June 20th and the deadline to apply for these grants is July 11th. Now the grants are actually going to be awarded and actually distributed in August of 2023. So this is actually very, very fast. As you know, sometimes there are short-term grants, there's also long-term grants, but there's also mid-term grants. So it actually fluctuates. Depending on the grant that you're going for, they actually may disperse the funds sooner or later. In this case, it's actually quite, quite a turnaround. It's actually just within weeks of you actually getting the grant approval, getting the grant awarded to you in July. So if you'd like to apply for these $5,000 recovery grants, you can actually go directly to the Burian's website at burianwa.gov forward slash recovery grants. Number two, New York, Geneva, $5,000 to $30,000 in grants. So the city of Geneva has received about $180,000 in grants. And they're going to be giving these grants and focusing it on startups, small businesses, as well as entrepreneurs. And this grant program is under their Community Development Enterprise Block Assistance Program. So they're going to be focusing on micro businesses, small businesses that actually need the help to be able to get their businesses growing, not only in revenues, but also mean basically being able to create jobs for people who are actually low to moderate income. Now, to qualify to apply for this $5,000 to $30,000 in grants, your business must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be located in Geneva. Number two, you must have five or less employees. Number three, you actually must be committed to creating at least one low to moderate income job. And finally, number four, you must provide a 10% cash equity for the project. Now, they're still providing details on this $5,000 to $30,000 grant program, and they've hired our Strandus consultant to administer the grant program. And they're having an informational session on July 12th. So they actually have it set up where you can actually go to the website and actually register for this informational session where they will be rolling out all the details on what the criteria will be from $5,000 to $30,000. So you can register online for the informational session via the link that we've included below. And you can actually go directly to their website at cityofgenevany.com. Number three, Portland, the city of Prosper. $25,000 in grants. So the city of Prosper recently launched their new Small Business Stabilization Restore Grant. So this is actually a $25,000 grant and is a follow-up to their previously successful program called the Repair Grant. So the Repair Grant actually gave small businesses money and resources to help them with physical damages to their buildings and also their facades. 
So this is actually a follow-up to that program that actually was very, very successful. And it's a $25,000 grant that's meant to help businesses that actually need repair as a result of damage as well as vandalism to their property since January of 2022. So the goal with the Stabilization Restore Grant is to actually help them do just that, restore their businesses. So the grants can actually be used for back rent. It can actually be used for security. It can be used for interior repairs as well as inventory replenishment due to inventory losses. So to qualify to apply for these $25,000 grants for your business, your business must meet the following criteria. Number one, your business must be located and prosper. Number two, you must have been in business since March of 2020. And number three, you must have three or more employees. So in this case, they actually want you to have at least three employees to apply for this grant. And finally, number four, your revenues must be between $300,000 and $3 million on an annual basis. So they actually want established businesses for this $25,000 in grants. So if you'd like to learn more and apply for these $25,000 in grants, you'd actually do that by going directly to their website at prosperportland.us. So these are just a few of the new grants in new states. By popular demand, we're going to be covering all locations. So if you'd like us to cover your city in your state, make sure you drop your city in your state in the comment section below so we can make sure that we cover you. Also, our grants masterclass is currently still open. So if you'd like to learn how to get grants for your business consistently, how to actually get your business in a place where you're actually generating sales and getting grants consistently, make sure you join us for our grants masterclass by going directly to my website at ashwini.com, clicking on grants and getting started today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me anytime. My email address is ashwininetwork at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until next time. Thank you so much for watching.